Bones are very hard. There are, whoa. Oh, hey, what's happening? Nice to see you show up. I take it you're here to learn about the shoulder blade and how it controls the movement of your arm. I made something last night. It's gonna help you understand your shoulder blade like something you've never seen before. You ready? Let's go take a look. This is your shoulder blade like you've never seen it before. Come check this out, let me show you. Your shoulder blade is a flat bone and there's seven major muscles that all have to act together like a game of tug of war to keep your shoulder blade in the proper position. So let's get into some detail about what those muscles are. You have, first you have your trapezius muscle and there's three of them. They named it really nice, upper trapezius, middle and lower. The upper trapezius starts in the back of the shoulder blade and it connects all the way up into the neck, just like this. Ooh. Oh, look at that, that's cool. Then you have your middle trapezius. It connects from the same place here over to the spine. Lower trapezius, same connecting point, down to the lowest part of the spine. They made the anatomy easy. Then they start to get fancy with a name like the levator scapulae. Okay, sounds like somebody French. It's the levator scapulae. Is that French? I don't think so. I'm sorry, whoever I offended. All right, your levator scap scapula, the blue one right here, connects from the upper inside of the shoulder blade up into the neck. Then you have your rhomboid muscle. Check this one out. That's the white one right here. Connects from the inside of the blade to the spine. Then you have your serratus muscle. Let me show you this one. All right. Your serratus anterior muscle, this one is awesome. You have to pay attention though, because this one is tricky. It connects underneath the shoulder blade. Can you wow. see up there? It connects all the way on the underside of the blade. And then what it does is that muscle snakes around and it clenches, clenches, right to the side of the ribs right there. How cool is that? Then you have your pec minor muscle. I'm sorry to let you leave you as last. You're important too. This connects to the outside of the shoulder blade here, wraps around and connects to the ribs. All of these, if you're balanced and in alignment, you don't look like this. This is out of whack, which is probably kind of like you. So, follow along to learn how to re-whack your shit. So now you are going to train your shoulder blade muscles while watching this beautiful visual. So set your phone down, make sure you have both your shoulders free, sit yourself upright in good posture. Now, using your right shoulder blade, what you're going to do is first, these two muscles up here, this is your levator scap and your upper trap. These muscles elevate your shoulder, so go ahead and shrug them all the way up, feel these muscles contracting. Now what you're going to do is your serratus muscle and primarily your lower trap are going to pull your shoulder blade down. And once again, pull that downward. Make sure you pull from the serratus in the front as well. Then once again, elevate all the way up. Pull your upper trap, feel those muscles contracting. And again, feel your serratus and your lower trap pulling your shoulder blade down just like Katie up in that right corner right there. Very good. The next two movements of your shoulder blade are when your shoulder blade moves out and in. And again, that is out. And now what's occurring is your rhomboid muscle, your middle trap and your lower trap, those pull the, those pull the bone in. And then on the other side, your pec minor and your serratus pull it out. Look at that, in and out. So practice this movement. Don't worry about the individual muscles. Just focus on pulling from the muscles right here next to the spine. And whenever you move it outwards, feel the muscles in your outer rib cage pulling it out. Man, how freaking awesome is that? Okay, this is probably the coolest movement of the shoulder blade. I'm so excited to show this to you. Your shoulder blade, it can upwardly rotate. Ah! Hold that right there. Your upper trapezius muscle, your serratus muscle and your lower trapezius muscle all fire together to cause upward rotation. Now, downward rotation is opposite. Your, wait, 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 out. got it? Go. Yeah, downward rotation. Downward rotation is when your levator scapula and your rhomboids and your pec minor contract. So amazing, these muscles sync up to rotate it up, 
Yep, yep, yep. And then sink up to rotate it down. Upwards and downward rotation of the scapula. So you just learn to move your shoulder blade in and out, up and down, rotate it up and down. And by doing that, you're gaining awareness of the muscles. And when you're aware, you know. And when you know, you don't fear. You don't fear pain. You don't fear hurting yourself. You don't fear re-injury. You know exactly what to do to fix your shit. So you need to practice this though, because fixing your shit isn't easy. It ain't ever gonna be easy. So get out of my crib and go fix your shit. Fix your shit with Move You.